Hi, so first things first, what I want to do is apologise. I have a tremendous amount to do and I'm being worse than useless at answering the comments and I'm sorry for that, I'm just under the cosh quite a bit. Now Calvin Green 90 mentioned this to me and it's kind of professed I'm reading the comments and taking on board what you're saying. So Calvin Green 90 mentioned a analog brushless motor dri uh, driver that we made in videos 1017 and 1019. Now stuff doesn't last long here to be honest. By the time we've done with it and we're moving on with the project, it does get disassembled for parts, otherwise we'd be chest deep in stuff. But, following what Calvin said, I hunted out the parts and I remade it. And here it is. Here's our brushless motor controller. And like I say, have a look at 1017 and 1019 for food, full details how to make it. And I've hooked it up to our prototype motor. As it's running on 12 volts, and remember I said it was a prototype because there's still quite a lot to discover about this. Remember I said that geometry was really important. So I've changed it a little bit by giving it a leading edge. This leading edge ensures a direction of rotation. If the leading edge was pointing that way, it would rotate that way. Having it pointing that way makes it rotate that way. So we can guarantee direction of rotation by how we put the leading edge. Anyway, I've put my controller hooked up to the uh, three phasers and we've got the DC going straight into the controller. I've put a switch on it and all I have to do is press that switch and rotate the controller. So let's have a close up of that. Anyway, I thought it was kind of cool. I hope you did too, and thank you very much for watching.